I have a problem. I mean, I have many iPods <laughs> and these ones, but I don't want to chuck these ones down. These are the mechanical hard drive ones. I have many hard drives, as you can see. Oh no, I just realized that one's got the black spot. That's not good. I'm going to put this one in the naughty corner. <laughs> but anyway, basically, my plan, my goal for all my iPods is to basically have a playlist on, like a different playlist on all of them. So like, I'm feeling a bit blue today, so I'm going to pick up the blue iPod. Or you know what, I need a bit of a silver lining today. I'll get the silver one. As you see, I have lots of silver iPods. I feel like I need lots of silver linings in my life. <laughs> or I'm feeling a bit emo today. I'll pick up the black ones. Yeah. But to do all that, I need a device to manage all of these. Now, I currently use my MacBook Air. I can't remember what year this is. Also, the hinge is not, that is not meant to do that. <laughs> but there's a few problems with using this laptop to manage all my iPods with. Number one, well, is, is this. <laughs> Number two, I want to grow my iPod collection. I, all my music is basically all my old iTunes from back in the day, but I want to add new stuff on here. Well, old stuff. But this has, well, it has no, no CD ports. It has barely any ports on it whatsoever. And the other issue, I'm going to move this out of the way. <laughs> is that I have a third gen nano and obviously I want to add some more, not nano, third gen classic. And I want to add to my iPod collection and hopefully get a first gen and a second gen classic. And these are all Firewire. Now the problem with Firewire is that most laptops, this one included, does not have a Firewire port. Now you can sync this to that laptop via a USB to 30 pin connector. But the problem with that is, is that it will not charge this device while it is syncing. Well, it won't charge it full stop. So it means that this is getting older, the battery in this is getting older, has a mechanical hard drive. So when you're syncing it with a full battery, hard drive spinning away for ages, the battery is slowly dying and it can die while you are syncing it which means it will corrupt and it'll be a bugger to put right. So I want a laptop with a CD drive and Firewire 400. That's what I want. And I think I have the solution. And it arrived, oh, it arrived today, a week later than it should have. Thank you, Yodel. Let's move all this stuff out the way. Also, the other reason why I want this laptop is that my current laptop over there somewhere, it, it has Apple Music, which is the newer version of iTunes, and it's not quite as the same. Uh, I, want, I want this same. And also, well, this device in here, I can also use this with it. So as I'm opening this, I'll let you have a wee guess as to what it might be. Here's a clue. It's not a Windows device. <laughs> And obviously, no, oh my God. <laughs> so I bought this off of, Am off of eBay for 15 pound including delivery. Obviously, and <laughs> let me adjust this slightly. <laughs> no expense spared on the packaging. <laughs> oh, they've gave me a wee pack. A wee, right, let's get this. <laughs> let's get this out of the way. Right, I'm gonna change the camera angle. <laughs> So here it, <laughs> it is in its old case. I, I'm not sure what to make of this so far. What do we have in here? Oh, look how yellow. It's not really a smell to it. Look how yellow that is, but only on one side. That is interesting. Hmm, I think I've got another one of them. Uh, and then here we have the MacBook itself. So this is a 2006 plastic Mac book. Well, should I say polycarbonate? It comes with a dual core processor, two gigs of RAM. I know this phone only has eight, uh, 200 and 200, <laughs> 120 gigabytes of RAM, not RAM, 120 gigabytes of storage. It's been a long day, guys. <laughs> my phone's only got 60, so that it generally is an improved. Jeez, this is, whoo, 
heavy. Right, what else have we got in here? Oh yeah, <laughs> the main reasons. It comes with a super drive, not just a disk drive, because it's Apple, a super drive. And then the Pista Resistance, where is it? Oh, she's a bit dirty. <laughs> a Firewire 400 port. Look how dirty these ports are. I'm definitely gonna have to get the isopropic alcohol out and give it a bath. And then we have a separate microphone and headphone jack. We have a Kensington lock, which no one, no laptop seems to have nowadays. <laughs> I guess theft is no longer a problem. I don't actually remember what that port does. I think it's a mini DVI. <laughs> right, let's see, let's open this up. Ooh, nice thick hinge. Right, cool. I mean, I feel like this is all I can show you at this angle. Maybe let's show, see if we've got any battery. Oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> right, let's let's turn this camera back around and see, plug this in and see if we can get any life out of this. This video will be a pretty disappointing video if it doesn't actually work. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well, I've got a green light over here. Oh, it's doing something. I think we shall speed this up. <laughs> It's booted up, but uh, there's no bit of paper in the packaging anywhere with a password. So that's helpful. I've looked through, I've looked through this bag. There is no password. So I'm gonna have to do some Googling. I'm sure this is, oh wait, no, there is something in here. What is in here? What? Oh yeah, also there's this CD, uh, this micro SD card reader, this micro SD card reader, and this, Oh, Macintosh Windows installer. Hmm. Is there anything else in this bag that will help me? Right, I'm just about to turn this off and then try and put it in disk utility mode. Ooh. And then I think it's Command and R to get it into recovery mode. Okay, I just paused the video just to save my phone filling up. But we have disk utilities up. So, disk utilities. Wait, it's so weird having an actual clicker button here. Right, continue. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video right there because what ensued was hours and hours of misery because as always with old tech, it never quite goes to plan. And basically for me to reinstall the iOS needed to run that Mac, Basically, Apple have switched off their service, so you can no longer download it directly onto the laptop from the internet. You need to make a bootable drive. And I know you're like, well, Glenn, didn't that laptop come with a bootable drive and a disk? Well, yes, it did, but it was the wrong iOS software for this laptop. It was like Snow Leopard or something. Basically, not compatible. I had to go and make a bootable drive of Lion, iOS Lion. If you would like to know how to do that yourself, if you're having the same issue, please leave a comment and I will show you how. But, cut a long story short, it's a couple of days later, we have a working laptop, so let's turn this camera back around and get back into it. Okay, so here we have it. Look at this laptop full of nostalgia right here. So I did have a quick look on the, uh, the old system preferences, or about this Mac, about this Mac, and uh, it has actually a four gig RAM uh, DDR, RAM and all that kind of stuff. So I think that someone has already kind of updated this Mac, which is interesting. It definitely explains some of the little cracks, but it's also pretty good. It means that this has a solid state drive in it, which is really cool. So yeah, let's check out this laptop for the features that I bought it for. So starting off, let's see if I connect FireWire to it. Will it charge my third gen? iPod, classic. So here we go, it's plugged in. Let's plug the laptop. So what I'm looking for is for it to connect, but it to also charge. So yes, yeah, straight away we've got the charge indicator up. And let's, oh, let's open up iTunes. See if it eventually recognizes it. Okay, I don't think this laptop is liking the fact that it has nothing on its iTunes at the moment and that this is full. I don't think it's enjoying itself. But if I go over into Finder, the iPod is there. I think 
Once I get all my iTunes library across, I will a uh, completely wipe these on the old laptop. So hopefully this laptop won't be hating life as much because it is an old laptop. I am expecting it to be slow. So I will for now just uh, eject it. And then I want to quickly test the CD drive. So I've got a classic Umit 6 album, which I will put in. One thing I just realized, I didn't realize this laptop has Bluetooth. But anyway, let's quickly try the Umi at 6 Albion. Because also I might just use this as a bit of a uh, portable DVD player as well. Because obviously you're not going to be able to really do much and surf on the internet properly. Not unless you get like, what is it, Firefox? I don't remember what it's called. Like some kind of obsolete Firefox web browser. It's not called that. But anyway, oh, I had just closed down iTunes. So I'm just going to open it back up because it wouldn't give me my iPod back. Uh, as I say, I will wipe all my iPods before I reconnect them to this, and then I'll bring across my whole iTunes library. So if you want to see that, please do leave a comment below. I'm not going to burn this CD, well, I'm not going to rip this CD at the moment. I just want to check that it works. I'm turning the volume right down, just so I don't get copyrighted. And then let's press play. That looks to me as if that is all working. And now, I'm gonna, oh, it works. That's so cool. And the volume up and down. I'm so happy with all of this. As I say, this is, I'm using this as purely an iTunes manager for all of my iPods. And I know that it is not gonna be the quickest. I know that it is probably gonna really annoy me sometimes, but I really just want a dedicated machine that's kind of of the same era as my iPod that also has Firewire, that I can also rip CDs without having to have a standalone like disk drive as well. I want it to all be in one place and for it to be kind of quite nice. And yes, it will take longer using this. I also don't care. I enjoy making playlists. I enjoy going through my iTunes. And that is what this is all about for me. It's just about taking time to enjoy the music that I have and start collecting more music again. So if you like this video, please leave a comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. That is the end of the video. If you have any questions, if you totally disagree with me and what I'm doing, please let me know. Let's all have a discussion down in the comments and enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.